Hello guys, welcome back to BBP channel. Today I will be giving you some of the um, parameter adjustment for each battle piece on the upcoming updates of Godzilla Battle Line. So for this Godzilla Battle Line, there will be a new battle unit which is Godzilla 2021. So if you follow my YouTube channel, I am a YouTube channel that provides Godzilla Battle Line news and updates and also gameplay on what are you expecting in this game. So if you are first to our channel, maybe you can give us a like on this video and also um click on the subscribe button anyway it's free so we hope that you can support us just by subscribing to us and we shall bring you the latest news of the Godzilla battle line and first of all we will be talking about the adjustment of each battle piece after this update so the first nerf and buff of this um, Godzilla battle line so basically I will be talking about what are the buff for this new season which is season 3 and also the nerf which is um, the buff of from season 2 okay so the first unit I will be talking about will be Gaigang so Gaigang is one of the popular heroes that is used as um, a leader on the top arena ranker okay so for Gaigang you can either use it as a leader or even a um, better units okay so for this time round Gaigang will there will be a buff and it will be the increased movement speed and weight in water ready areas and also allowing for quicker evasion and raiding through opponents in many situations and it's also increased added power and also lower the cost of special move um, for the leader you can watch the my previous video on talking about all the special powers of the leaders in this game okay so it will be a buff for guy gang i am using guy gang as a leader as well so this will be a good news for me because in this season i will be using more of guy gang and guy gang will also be um, a booster for units that can move faster in the watery areas okay next will be biolente biolente fire uh, the flower beast form okay the cost will be re reduced and the evolution time has also been shortened to make it easier to evolve how to get biolente you will need to get it either either from the legendary expedition map or even from the catch up on or you can purchase directly from the shop I myself had already catch up on maybe 3 or 4 um, Biolente. I should show the videos at the site for you to see. And if you evolve Biolente for flower beast form, you will get the Biolente plant beast form. Okay, the cost has been also be reduced and increased movement speed in watery areas and also increase the range of normal attacks and increase the range of special attack for a leader. What is Biolente good for? Biolente is usually good for um versus um, packs or swamp enemies such as destroyer and even the kamakuris pack so for biolente is also a very tanker unit that can able to do splash attacks and the special attacks for the leader is called the exit sap okay so it like slowly gradually poison the units um, surrounding it okay the next will be a nerf so it will be a nerf for Motra, Amago because the currently in this update a lot of people has been complaining that Lido has a very high recovery um, effects on the units as well as the leader itself so for this time round the recovery amount of special move for the leader will also be lowered and the next nerf it will be very sad because this is my favorite hero in this season 2 which is Hindora if you really feel the same as me, maybe you can comment that below because I am a fan of Hindora in Season 2 because I use a lot of Hindora and Hindora is a very good unit that can attack land and air units and it also is a very good counter attack for Kamakura's pack and also the destroyer pack which is range attack uh, which is the multiple battle units, units attacks okay so for this time round it mentioned that it had raised the cost but I don't know how much they are raising I predicted because the current Hindora is at 3 cost so maybe it will increase to 5 cost or even 4 cost but even if it increased to 4 cost it is still not a 
but nerf but it's like a slight buff because Hindora itself is very OP already so for Hindora fan just keep watch on the number of cores if the cost is 5 maybe you can stop pumping it first while you can spend most of your uh, your coins to other units such as um, like Kai Gang or even Minila okay because the next hero that I will be talking will be Minila for Minila it will be a buff okay because Minila for this season 3, it will, the cost will be lowered just like season 0. In season 0, Minila is only cost 2. And Minila is a very tanker and also high DPS unit in season 1. So I'm not sure whether how does Minila perform in season 3. So I hope that Minila can be as good as season 1. So if you um, think the same as me, maybe you can comment below that you like Minila. Because in Minila, in Godzilla Defense Force game, Minila is a paid Ellie, you can only use money to purchase Minila. But for this game, Minila, which is the son of Godzilla, has the cost of the unit has been lowered to match his strength and attack power, and the range of the normal attack has been lengthened to make it more effective effective at attacking from a distance. Which means that Minila right now has a low longer range that can hit the unit, maybe just like the Godzilla Ultima. Correct, because the current Godzilla Ultima has the highest range, so maybe the Minila will be the next one. Okay, next will be a nerf. Okay, so it will be a nerf for these Kamakura's fans because for Kamakura's um, normal units, the damage value and attack speed were too high in this season, so the attack interval has been lengthened, which means that there is no change in the cost, but only the attack interval of these Kamakura's will be slightly and slower next will be the Kamakura Swarm Kamakura Swarm also say um, have the same fate as Kamakura's single unit because the damage value and the attack speed were too high so the attack interval has been lengthened but there's no change on the cost Kamakura Swarm still remain at cost 5 while Kamakura still remain as cost 2 and next will be a buff for King Ghidorah because King Ghidorah is a very low profile unit in Godzilla Battle Line even since from season 0 to season 3. Okay, so this time round, the current King Ghidorah have a cost of cost 8 in order to summon King Ghidorah into the game. But maybe they lower the cost to maybe 5. If King Ghidorah has been lowered to 5, yeah, I will be very happy because most of the legendary expedition map, I'm getting King Ghidorah. Um, better units yeah rather than other better units i keep getting king indora i still don't know i get king indora of even motra yeah so currently i have more king indora better units cuts plus the motra if you are king indora fans maybe you can comment king indora to the moon for this season at below okay next we'll be talking about the mega curious mega curious is a buff okay so um, for currently, it has increased the area effect of the debuff that activated when it appears. Okay, so which means that the area of the effect is widened, while the current one is not very wide. Okay, it is no, it's only concentrated as the at the area that you spawn. Okay, and next it will be a nerf for B two Spirit Style Bomber. B two Spirit Style Bomber at the power was too high and also lowered to make it worth the cost. Okay, then for B2 Stealth Bomber will be a nerf, but there's no difference in the cost. The cost I think maybe is still 4 or 5, okay? Next, Kong. Okay, Kong is the last season rewards uh, legendary heroes. So for season 3, Kong movement speed in watery areas has been increased in respect to its uh, activities at sea which means that Kong can walk faster on water areas such as swamp and swampy areas okay so next will be MBAW93 which is a buff MBHA, MBAW which is the tank you can summon two tanks at one go so for this time round the cost has been lowered and also increased the speed at which units can be generated in season 0 MBAW is only cost at 2 and the, CP, uh, and the speed and the DPS is damn high so for season 3 maybe they decrease to maybe 3 costs and maintaining the speed of the units if not MBAW will be a 
um, unutilized unit in Godzilla Battle Line. So I hope to see more NBA W93 fans in Season 3. Next will be the Psychic Chorus. The growth rate of the recovery has been lowered to prevent the user from recovering too much. Haha, <laughs> I think Godzilla Battle Line, they watched my video on the Motra, Motra and Psychic Chorus combo. Therefore, they lowered this um, recovery of the Motra combo with Psychic Chorus. Okay, so there's no change in the cost, but they only um, decrease the growth rate of the recovery value for this psychic chorus which means that you can um, heal slower and maybe not a lot while you cast your psychic chorus on your unix areas or even your mantra your healing mantra okay next will be a nerve uh, a next will be a buff sorry a buff for dimension tight okay dimension tight is something like mission mission strike just that is slightly underutilized the mission strike is not as popular as mission strike okay dimension type increase the suction and also damage range and the speed at which better piece are sucked to has been increased and also make it easier to draw them to the center okay so dimension type is above for it it increased the suction and damage area which means that dimension type will cause uh, more damage than uh, usual okay the last and not least will be the robot okay moguria moguria okay so with lowered hp and attack power because he was creating too much of one-sided development okay this will be a nerf for him okay because a lot of people are doing this using this guy as a counter attack just like the b2 star bomber okay and the damage to that while dealing digging through the ground has been also lowered yes so every time uh, with high level this this robot every time clear my um kamakura's pack or even the the destroyer pack really damn annoying okay so these are all the details of the adjustment and in the new environment the previous models performance of better pieces will come into play and also allow for more diverse team formation so we hope that each player can enjoy their own monster all-star battle in this new environment and that management team has been developed the game based on their feedback and also requests we have received from you so in august we are planning to add new games and features that has been requested and also thank you for your continued support for godzilla battle line and just an update um you are able to get free godzilla coins in um from this new ico of godzilla coins so if you like to know more information you can visit the godzilla coin.io with the links below and also give you some of the um, information on how to purchase godzilla coins today okay so godzilla will be the first crypto coins that is releasing in the blockchain so if a godzilla fans or if you are interested in godzilla maybe you can um visit their website or even their telegram for more information also remember to join their twitter so that's all for today video if you like this video remember to like and share and subscribe to our channel and also comment below that how what do you like about the buff and nerf of this godzilla battle line and i shall see you in the next bbp video thank you for watching and see you Hello guys, first of all welcome to our channel. If you enjoy our videos, please like and comment below. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and remember to subscribe and click here for more videos.